Hello and welcome back to this channel. I am Justin Mendez and today we're going to be doing a video that's a little bit different for this, this channel. Although I will say that the whole purpose of this channel was to do some behind the scenes stuff for Logical Harmony. So in that case, this video is actually spot on. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Nico F-Stop camera backpack from Chrome. And what we're going to be doing in this video is not a full review. If you want a huge full review of that, I'm gonna be going on a trip soon. I'm gonna make a video. So take a look for that full review video. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is unboxing the bag and then I'm going to be filling it up with all this stuff. And to be completely real, the point of this video and the point of me filling it up with all my stuff is to decide whether or not I want to keep this bag or whether or not I want to send it to Chrome. It's in the box over here. I haven't even opened it yet. So my hope is that by the end of this video, you will also have enough information to decide whether or not you want this bag from Chrome. At the time of this video being recorded, this Chrome bag goes for $200 which I think is pretty reasonable. The reason I decided to go with Chrome is because I actually have a Chrome bag that's a backpack that I got when I was riding bikes a lot and when I had a motorcycle, it was awesome. And I bought that, that backpack around 2008, so I've had it for over 10 years and it has held up incredibly well. I love that bag. So when I was looking for a new camera bag to travel with, that's why I went with Chrome because I just know they have amazing quality. I figured I would be happy with the bag and even for 200 bucks, if it lasts me 10 years, I'm totally okay with paying 200 bucks for a nice bag for the next decade. Also, I just wanna say the reason that I want a bag in general is because normally when I travel, I have this bag, which has my camera equipment in it and I have this bag. So as you can see, when I'm walking around, I'm walking around with both these bags. It's just, it's, it's just, they're kind of in the way. I don't really like carrying two bags like this. Even like if I'm at the airport and I'm hot and I wanna like unzip my, my sweater, then it just feels weird. It's not quite zipped. If, <laughs> I, I realize that's kind of a small thing. That's sort of what I'm looking for is like to fix the small things. You gotta take both of them off like every time you sit down. And generally when I'm traveling, I'm not just sitting in one spot. I'm moving around a lot doing a lot of fun things. I want a bag that can replace these two bags and I also want a bag that is gonna fit at least a couple days worth of underwear and socks and t-shirts. I don't wanna have to carry these bags and a backpack with my clothes and then when you think about getting on flights and I don't like to check my camera equipment, I just want one bag that can do it all. So we're gonna see if this Nico F-Stop camera backpack from Chrome is the bag that can do it all. So let's get back to this unboxing. I can say already, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Realistically, it's probably a good thing. I hope that means it's gonna fit a lot. Actually, it's getting really hot in here, so I'm gonna take this sweater. Okay, and Chrome did say that if you want to return it, you should keep all the original packaging. So I'm going to open this pretty carefully here. I like that the tape they use isn't crazy sticky. So that was easy to do without having to tear the plastic. Ooh, it's pretty. Let me pull this shot out a little. It's a pretty bag. Like I said, a lot bigger than I thought. Ooh, I like this, that's, that's awesome. Nice, easy, quick release. It opens from this side, which is awesome because when you're traveling, you don't really want to be in a position where somebody can just, it's brand new so these zippers are a little stiff. You don't really want to be in a position where somebody can just reach into your bag from behind you. Got a lot of padding in here. Nice little padded areas. We've got a lot of little straps here. This, I believe is a little pouch for your tripod. This tripod might be a little too big to be super portable with this bag, but just to give you an idea, hold it like that. And then this strap can obviously get tighter, but I'm not gonna bother doing that right now. It's got a lot of little loops here, I guess so you can attach things. I'm not 100% sure what I would do with all those. And then these straps are if you are a skater and you have a skateboard. I've been playing with the idea of getting one of those little skateboards to be able to ride through the airport just for convenience and 
fun sake. That could be useful if I end up doing that. We got a little zipper pouch behind that strap. This could be something that you could keep, I don't know, a couple dollars in. Maybe your wallet, things that you want to be able to access quickly. It doesn't look like that's a waterproof or water resistant zipper as where these zippers up top do look like they have some waterproofing or weatherproofing. So that's good to note. This is another little pocket up here that I don't know, maybe this could hold a sunglass case, your passport, again, like just a couple small things, flat things uh, that you would wanna keep in there. And then this pouch on top, this pouch for me is gonna be crucial because what I'm really hoping is that if there's not enough space in this area to keep all my camera equipment and some clothes, that I'm really hoping that this space is gonna be big enough to fit at least some clothes. And I pack pretty light. If I'm going on a trip for a couple days, I'll wear the same pants the whole time and I'll just change my socks, my underwear, and my t-shirts. So let's see how much I can fit in here. Three pairs of underwear right here, three pairs of socks. So maybe I could fit like one t-shirt. Maybe two actually. That pretty easily fits three pairs of socks three pairs of underwear and two t-shirts, which for me is actually a lot to travel with. I don't go on super long trips or anything like that. Usually they're like one, maybe four days max. So for me, that's gonna work pretty well. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm gonna actually leave those in there while I pack the rest of this because I wanna get a feel for exactly how much I can fit in here with that pocket full in case I notice that there's any tension from this pocket pushing and kind of taking up space in here. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start emptying these other two bags into here and we're gonna see how much we can fit and we're gonna be keeping in mind that I also need to get this camera in there and this microphone. They're not that big and I'll be able to tell once this is full if I'm gonna be able to fit this camera and that microphone in as well. So let's just start packing this up and see how much room we have left. I am super, super, super happy and really impressed with how much space is in here. Obviously you can see I, I threw in these just to take up a little bit of space, but this could go in the little exterior tripod thing. My phone's not gonna really be in here. I put my camera, this is a GH4 with a 12 to 35 uh, lens on it in here. I got a 50 millimeter lens in here. I got my Mavic Pro, Mavic Pro controller, Mavic Pro extra battery, Mavic Pro charger. I got my dead cat. I got some random things in here that realistically would probably go in a zipper pocket. I like extra batteries, battery chargers. And I still have this giant space that's totally empty that I could fill with my other camera, with the microphone, and I could even probably fit some clothes in here. Like I could, you know, pad the Mavic with some some clothes. That would be perfect because obviously I'm also going to be traveling with like a toothbrush and probably some, I don't know, like deodorant and I'm trying to think of what else I travel with. I travel really, really, really light. So toothbrush, toothpaste, basically just those things, the basics, maybe a beanie or something. I'm pretty well convinced that this is gonna fit everything that I need. I'm gonna try it on though, I haven't done that yet. All right, so for me, it definitely passes the comfort test. I like the way it looks. I'm going to try it on with my hoodie, still super comfy. I love that it's a backpack. If I wanna get something out of it, I can lay it down, easily open it up from here, and get to whatever equipment I need. I'm really happy with this. So for me, this is definitely something that I am going to keep. I'm not gonna return this to Chrome. I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna use it. And if you want to see the full review of this, like I said, I'm gonna be going on a trip soon and I'm gonna take it with me and we're gonna actually use this in the real world and I'll give a full comprehensive review of how I feel it performs. If you're thinking about checking out this bag and you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope this was helpful. Please check out the full review video as well.